but um I don't know like I know a lot of people really like Wind Waker but I just you know I don't hate it like I used to like I wouldn't say I'm like those people who absolutely hated the fucking Wind Waker but eh I do think there's some things that people really have a right to not like about Wind Waker so anyway we're in the dungeon now and honestly, this is probably one of the most unique bosses out of this game, kind of-ish. I'm trying to think, just because uh, it's it really is a, an enemy you cannot take out with your sword. You have to use the Megaton Hammer. And also, fun fact, in this game's code you can find a Star Wing from Star Fox. So because of, the reason why is because they were trying to get the pattern down for how Volga was going to move around. Because, you know, he's a dragon, he could fly, he's moving around. So that's what that was all about. I was like, okay, so I guess you can technically use your sword after you hit him, but most people just use the Megaton Hammer. Also, I don't believe you can do a dash with him. No, you can't. Oh, and I didn't read the thing. Voga is the boss of the Fire Temple, revived by the evil king. I don't know its weak point. Yep. That always scared the shit out of me as a kid, when Navi's like, I don't know what to do, and you're like, fuck. Uh, can you actually hit this guy at all? Can you hit him with a bow and arrow? I'm actually kind of curious. I swear you could hit him in the nose. I don't know if it actually hurts him, though, or if it makes him go into his little hidey hole faster. Of course you're on the cross the fucking room over there. Okay, so after you break his nose, it like it pops open and then you can use your sword. Okay, that's interesting. I never knew that. I just always continued bashing fucking the Megaton Hammer. Like, who didn't? I think there's a way to hit this fucker's nose. Oh, yep, he's going up. Which means... Rocks have fallen. Don't really know a good way to avoid this, so just uh, run around in circles, I guess. I think it's random, which honestly really sucks. It's one thing I hate about a lot of these... <laughs> It, the rocks keep hitting him instead. That is fucking hilarious. Oh my god, they just... <laughs> He's like, that was a terrible idea, guys. Like, absolutely awful. Alright, so we're probably gonna die here. Luckily, I have three fairies, so, you know, I, I was prepared for this shit. Okay, yeah, you can't actually hit him with the fucking thing. That's weird. Oh no, a meta of arrows! What will I ever do? You know, I always wanted to take on a three heart run of this game. Alright, so he should be down soon. He probably got like one more fucking fight left. And he's gonna do the rock thing again, isn't he? Yep. He's gonna do the rock thing again. Hey, hey, this time, dude, maybe don't go into the hole where all the rocks are gonna fall on top of you. Wait, no, then get your sword up. Yeah. One of the biggest issues with the Megaton Hammer is that the sword, um... It's falling on him again. <laughs> dude! Okay, it finally hit me. <laughs> Whoa, those martinis finally hit me. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm so fucking... <laughs> I'm so fucking wasted, guys. One more. Link, hit his fucking nose. Hit his fucking nose! God damn it. Probably could have gotten like two hits off there. Or do we have to use our sword after we hit his nose? Should make a difference. Watch out, guys. He's so deadly. What the fuck? What is even going on? What is even going on? He's just kind of circling around. Ring around the rosies. He's like trying to do like a satanic ritual where we're in the middle. Like, what the fuck was that? There we go. So I guess I was wrong about the boss. I guess I could have gotten a really cool weapon here. There we go. Right across the nose. That was bitching, actually. So yeah, that that's Volgia. Um, again, I do think it's boss fight is somewhat unique. <laughs> the best one ever? Hell no, but uh... Though I do think this this whole this whole death animation is fucking bitchin'. 
Like, holy shit, what the hell, Nintendo? When does Nintendo ever get this fucking hardcore? As he withers away. That's kind of cool he still has his, uh, you can still lock onto him. <laughs> and there's our heart container, guys. I think that's a full one. I think. So, that's the fire temple, folks. Took an hour and eight minutes. I guess that doesn't count the stuff we did in the beginning, so, you know. Less than an hour, but I will cut it down far enough so that it will be, uh, good enough. So that's the fire temple. Oh yeah, I forgot everybody looks at it. Explosions! And there's the evil leaving the fire temple. So now every so now the world looks a hell of a lot more peaceful with that fucking thing going. You know, I think it would have been very interesting if they tried to show, like, got more of Majora's Mask in this game and tried to show how people felt about what was going on a bit more. Like, I, I think really everything that goes on is more personal than everything else. How you're like, oh my god, they fucked it up, but I don't think people, you know, people are upset and Darunia, are you fucking high, bro? Dude, the sages here have the best kush. <laughs> like, I'm, I, I'm sure that's just a big old grin on his face, but what the fuck? Isn't that funny? No, it, it kind of makes sense. So, do, do these people being here mean they can never go back to the real world? Like, that's just, that's just kind of a big question for me. And again, I think it would be really cool if you could, like, come back and talk to these guys. Like, you could just actually come to this room and talk to them. Be kind of bitching, especially because it's just such a nice looking room, too. So we receive the fire medallion, Darunia, uh, Darunia awakens as a sage and adds his power to yours, but not really because we don't get stronger from the medallion, so what the fuck? Don't forget, now you and I are true brothers. It's, what? I don't, you know, maybe not blood brothers. I don't know, is, is, well, no, because it's, yeah, blood brothers, yeah, that means you're, you're, you're related. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Let's fucking go over here and let's go get that damn thing over there. Cause I want that heart container, goddammit. And yes, you have to do this. Oh yeah, I forgot, before I go, because this is like, probably one of the coolest things ever. But, so now these stone blocks we can actually break with the- we couldn't break these with these with the bombs which I showed earlier, but you can actually break them with the Megaton Hammer. Why did you do that, Navi? I didn't ask about your fucking opinion, girl. So we have another Great Fairy Fountain, and probably one of my favorite ones. Honestly, I didn't appreciate it until I didn't want to do the special stuff in Majora's Mask. And I was like, oh, damn, the, the game's a lot harder when you don't go for the damn fairies in the dungeon. Seriously, serious question though, guys. After I'm done with this, how, you know, do you guys want me to do Majora's Mask, like, really soon? Like, you know, maybe give, like, a Let's Play or two of a break? Because I'd love to take out Majora's Mask again. It's probably, like, it's so hard for me to choose Zelda games I love to death. Like, Ocarina of Time is just so much of my childhood. So blah blah blah, this girl is going to, this fairy is going to increase our magic by doubling it. Yay! Pill company, Viagra companies hate him. Find out how he got twice as long with two simple clicks. Oh god, and to zoom up of his dick. <laughs> Your magic mirrors enhanced. Oh god, I'm so mature. <laughs> Damn you, Moe Mine! <laughs> I would say you're perverting my brain, but I, I was perverted way beforehand. Twice as long, baby. <laughs> Just wanted to get into the double digits, that's all. Alrighty then, so, oh yeah, and technically... Yeah, so there's no way we could have gotten across here without taking the special exit, as that blocked our path, so... I mean, I'm I'm sure someone's gonna be like, well, I could do a, do the bum the 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 bomb jump thing, and I'll be perfectly fine. It's like, yes, I'm sure you can, dude. I'm sure you feel so much better than everybody else because you can do that. I don't care. All right, so don't. There we go. Okay. I was really worried Link was just gonna fall the fuck off. So, 
Um, I don't think you have... You either might have enough time to grab this thing and then die if you're playing the... Um... Link! What the fuck, Link? Link! Oh my god. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. But anyway, yeah, I was just talking about whether or not you might be able to get this within the minute so that you can um, get this as a child if necessary. So, you know, there's that. Now we only need one more heart container, and technically we could get one really quick. All I'd have to do is go back in time, uh, use the uh, the um, use the song to warp us here as a child, quickly plant a seed, and then it would grow about the time we'd get back here, and then we can get the one on the mountain over there. So, um, I mean, I guess I don't really have anything else to do after this. I think next episode we're gonna start on getting the uh, the big Goron sword. Actually, the dude who does it is right here. He's the important big motherfucker. I don't think you see him as a child. My brother opened a new store. It's Metagoron's Blade Store. However, I'm better at making blades. Hylian Carpenters praise me for my skills. I'm not lying. So yeah, for some reason, he can't just make you a fucking sword. He's just like, you know what, bitch? You, you, gotta, you gotta do that shit on your own. So because of that, we have to do this whole fucking quest to do it, but in all honesty, it's like one of, probably one of my favorite quests ever, so I don't really complain that much. Anyway. There we go. So anyway, we're going to cut back to where I plan to see it as a child, so I'll be right back. Hi guys, we are back. We just put the sword in. Actually, I think I'll show off the animation right before with that whole putting the sword in kind of thing. So anyway, we have an hour and 20 minutes and also we cannot go into the fire temple as a child because for some reason it was blocked off. But, you know, a volcanic re uh, a volcanic explosion happened when we were a kid which caused it to, uh, you know, all the boulders to go away which, you know, kind of thank God because, you know, we would have been stuck there forever. Anyway, I'll be right back. Alright then guys, we are back and we are heading back to the Fire Temple again. Or not the Fire Temple, but the uh, Death Mountain Crater. Now that we planted those seeds, we now have ourselves a nice little plant here. I do have to say though, this fucking, uh... Oh god, there we go, okay, you gotta jump off just in time. Hey, what the fuck? What the fuck? That was a hit and run right there. Fucking, uh... <laughs> Hope you guys got that motherfucker's number. Sorry, a car was driving by and I kinda wanted to cut out the screeching. So anyway, we have completed another heart container. Oh boy, the OCD, the OCD. Oh, and now let's, let's breathe in all these fumes. Oh yeah, the good stuff. But no, seriously, what the fuck with that goddamn thing hitting me? That was bullshit. So, yeah, I don't believe it's possible at all to get that thing without, um... Don't believe it's possible at all to actually uh, get that thing without using the whole trick. Because there's a lot of them you can avoid. I guess we can't get over there either. Oh, you know what? This is probably the one with the Scarecrow song. No, I guess not. What the fuck? I'm not sure this works. But anyway, guys, I think we are done for this episode. Got ourselves another two heart containers in this episode. Defeated the uh, fire temple, got our new item, and yeah, so next time we are not going to head off to the water portion yet. Oh boy, the, the, well, that's, that's gonna be fun. At least the moment before is like one of my favorite moments in this game. Or it, it has some of my favorite music in this game. But no, we're not gonna be hitting that section up at all just yet. Um, oh no, actually we have to. Yeah, we actually have to to complete the quest I'm talking about. Okay, so no, we will hit up that portion next time, but we are also going to hit up the... Um, we're also going to hit up the, the main quest in this game. So I do hope you guys have enjoyed. I will catch you guys next time. This is Mike Jr. the Second, signing out.